Brandon, so many ways to go here. I'll start with an easy one. Who wins the game? Yeah, Bills. This, this is easy, right? I mean, it's going to be a tough game, but this is an easy pick for me. I've been talking about this team all year. I've also been talking about this is the only team that can challenge the Chiefs. Nick, you better call your boy and tell him, let B. Marshall, okay, buy me out. I got you, buddy. I know you got bank. I know you're doing great with all your picks this year and your bets, but you let – I don't want to see this happening. Okay, I don't I don't want to see ketchup and mustard just mm. dripping down your face. Come on. No, let's I'm not do that. Agree. This kid is so special. So, I need so, to read these stats, right? Because because you go ahead, Nick. Go ahead. Uh -huh. No, no. I want to hear the stats because then I'll give my analysis. I want to hear the stats, please. You oh, go. Well, because I, I, well, I know uh, hopefully I, I hopefully I know where you're going with your analysis because you've been talking about Josh Allen mm -hmm. all year and how inconsistent he mm -hmm. is. So I kind of want to debunk that. I'm yeah. going to read these notes right now. He's seven and one please. versus a top 10 scoring defense with 112 passer rating. OK, so this inconsistency that you're talking about, I just don't understand it. He's six and one versus a top 10 passing defense with 105 for passer rating. This kid is going That's to be good. the reason why they win this game. We know about Brian Dayball and how creative he is. We know about Stephon Diggs. That defense, they're good enough to slow those guys down. But I'm trying to tell you, Nick, you got to take this Josh Allen serious. Forget the mustard and the ketchup. Okay. You need to come, be prepared to come mm -hmm. in here next week and apologize to Bill's Mafia for all of your scrutiny yep. and all of the things that you said yep. this year about their team and Josh mm -hmm. Allen. <laughs> I and so I understand that that is on the board along with what Wilds thinks could end my television career which is the embarrassment of getting Pinto Rond. Here's why I don't <laughs> think it'll happen. I think and Ooh. I and I believe that Brandon we actually might agree on the on a lot of these points. The Bills have a good coach. I think the Ravens have an excellent coach and certainly the more experienced coach the Bills very well might have a good quarterback I believe the Ravens have a better quarterback I know the Ravens have a better defense and most importantly Wilds is this the Bills want to beat you by throwing the ball and the Ravens have an exceptional mm. sec secondary Marcus Peters Marlon Humphrey the Ravens want to beat you by running it straight down your throat. And that is the Bills' biggest weakness. So what the Bills want to do, the Ravens are somewhat equipped to slow down. What the Ravens want to do is what the Bills struggle with the most. So you have, a, it, it, let's call the quarterbacks a push, just so I don't have to argue about Josh Allen. Let's call the coaches a push, even though I think Harbaugh is a tick better. The Ravens have the better defense, and to use the old cliche wilds, styles make fights. The style, to me, mm, certainly favors the Ravens in this game, and that's why the money is coming on the Ravens, and the point spread's gone down, and that's why I think this will be the one upset of the weekend. I, to mm. I totally agree with you, and I'm, I'm personally happy because I don't think it would ruin your career but it would certainly be uh, the number one Google image search if you covered in ketchup and mustard. And I'm, I'm not interested. I think it's bad, honestly, for me. I think it's bad for me, Brandon, and Jenna. It's, a, it's more of a selfish thing, unless you're concerned about your career. It's embarrassing. Okay, Brandon, yeah. how are... Oh, we don't need you just talked about it. Guy. The one chance the Browns guy. have of beating the Chiefs, run the ball, keep Mahomes off the field. I think it's the same strategy for keeping your buddy Josh Allen off the field. Time of possession. Ryan Tannehill had the ball for 26 mm. minutes. The Bengals, I don't even know who they started, to be totally honest. They, they had the ball for 19 <laughs> minutes. Danny Dimes had the ball for 25 minutes. 236 yeah. yards against the Titans, 400 yards against the Bengals, 249 against the Giants. So I think if they just run, run, run. Shot to Hollywood Brown. Run, run, run. Hollywood Brown gets another yeah. shot. Oh, broken play. There goes Lamar. I don't think, like, as much as I agree with you, you've sold me on Josh Allen, I don't think he gets that many opportunities because the Ravens will just have the ball for the large majority of the game. 
Yeah, I mean, Nick just rattled off, what, five or six things and said, I think you're going to agree with me on most of them. No, I agree with you on one. And that's to your point, Wilds, is that that is their biggest weakness on that defensive side is that front four. Those guys on, at, at, on that, in that front seven, they got to do a phenomenal job of trying to slow down uh, 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 Lamar Jackson and that running attack. It's going to be hard. It's damn near impossible. But all they got to do is bend but don't break. But here's the here's the deal, though, Nick. Where's Brian Dayball from? Yeah. Who hired Brian Dayball? Coach Mangini in New England, right? He's a guy yeah, that learned from yep. Coach Mangini. He's the guy that learned from Josh McDaniels. Yep. He learned from Bill Belichick. And what do those guys do? They go into each game with a new playbook and attacking the other That's team's fair. weakness. So when you talk about That's when you fair. talk about okay. that offense and Josh Allen, oh, they want to beat you throwing. No, that's the perception. Because that's what they're really good at. But they can also they, dial it up Zach in the run Moss game. They can out. also get it done there. Yeah, but but no Zach Moss hurts them in that regard. That's maybe the one big injury, Steve. Jenna, from Wild Card Week and the Bills losing their running back. But I agree. Dable will have some wrinkles. There's no doubt about it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from First Things First or go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.